3ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equals to 1 then d square y by dx square equals to x square minus ab divided by hx plus by whole cube. Now we have been given that ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equals to 1 then we have to prove that second order derivative different is equals to h square minus ab divided by hx plus by whole cube. So let's write down first what is given to us. ax square plus 2hxy plus by square equals to 1. Now let us differentiate this. We will have ax square a into 2x, 2ax plus 2h, xy derivative, uv form we have here, u into v dash, so it will be xy1 plus y into 1 plus by square, y square derivative will be 2yy1, so we can write down 2by1 equals to 0. Can we cancel out 2 throughout? Then we will have ax plus hxy1 plus hy plus byy1 equals to 0. Can we get the y1 value here? So we will take y1 common. We will write down y1 into hx plus by plus ax plus hy equals to 0. That means y1 equals to minus of ax plus hy divided by hx plus by. Now once we got y1, now we can go to y2. For that, we will write down, we have to differentiate y1 now. So we will take the minus to that side and we will say minus y2 equals to. Now, what we are going to apply is u by v derivative is equals to v square v into u dash minus u into v dash. This is our u and this is our v. Let's go ahead and do that. We will have minus y2 equals to. Now, hx plus by is our v, v square. So we will have hx plus by whole square. Now, v into u dash, that is hx plus by which is our v, multiply with u dash, u dash is derivative of ax plus hy, ax derivative is a and hy derivative is hy1 minus, then we have u into v dash, u is ax plus hy, multiply that with v dash that is derivative of hx plus by that is h plus by1. Now I will just try to open the brackets and see what terms will cancel and what is left out. So let us go to the next term and see what happens minus of y2 equals to. Let us open the brackets. Denominator will be hx plus by whole square. Now, a into hx will be a hx. hx into hy1 is h square xy1. Then plus by into a is a by. Plus by into hy1 that is bhyy1 minus ax into h that is minus a hx 
minus a x into b y 1 that is minus a b x y 1 then minus h square y minus b h y y 1 this is what we get in the numerator now let us see any terms we can cancel here I can cancel a h x and a h x I can cancel b h y y 1 and b h y y 1 what is left out let's try to write down that is equals to minus y 2 equals to we have a b y minus h square y we can take y common there and we can say y into a b minus h square so those two terms are taken care then we have x y 1 we can take common this guy will become now x y 1 into h square minus a b divided by h x plus b y whole square Now we see that a b minus h square and h square minus a b there and we have minus y2 here. So let us just multiply with minus and write down y2 equals to h square minus a b into y minus x y into h square minus a b. What we did? We multiplied with minus divided by hx plus by whole square. So we have now y2 equals to, we can take that h, h, h square minus a b common, 2 equals to square minus a b <coughs> divided by hx plus by whole square and left out is y minus xy1. Let us substitute that now and see what happens. We will have y2 equals to h square minus ab divided by hx plus by whole square and we have y minus x y 1 let us write down that that is y minus x y 1 y 1 is coming from here this is our y 1 so what it will become now plus a x plus h y divided by h x plus b y. So, our next step will be y2 equals to h square minus a b divided by h x plus b y whole square and when we simplify this we will have h x y plus b y square plus y minus x y 1 so we need x also here to be multiplied so it becomes a x square then h x y divided by h x plus b y now this whole thing will become 1 because that is a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square. So, what is left out now? That is nothing but h square minus a b divided by h x plus b y whole cube. So, if y equals to, if a x square plus 2 h x y plus b y square equals to 1, then d square y by dx square equals to h square minus a b by h x plus b y whole cube.